Maybe, maybe you saw part of it, some of it. I mean, there was over a three-hour rain delay to get this one started. So the grounds crew hard at work. So we're going to get you caught up top second. Justin Steele got the start. It's Luke Maley. And this is looking like it can be three outs. Easy get out of the bases loaded jam. But say a Suzuki, Bruce, miscue, rain coming down. Not as easy maybe as it looks. Three run score. And, and you, you start, you're starting to feel at least like, OK, here we go again, OK? What can go wrong will go wrong. But uh, you know, again, it's early in the game, luckily. The weather conditions were certainly involved here. There was an awful lot of rain. And then you see the other run coming in here on, a, on an RBI single. But th the reality is, is that um, once the pitchers started to go, and here you go with the, uh, the long ball. The redemption yes. for Suzuki. Yeah. And, and again, uh, it was such a big moment because at that point, you're down four to nothing. You think, Okay, we're, we're out of it. How long are we going to have to sit here, right, after we're right. out this delay? And the Cubs come back and they do the good, the good thing here. You know, you, you have to give them an awful lot of credit. We're sitting here waiting to go on the air and talk. <laughs> they're sitting there and they're playing a, a, a two and a half, three hour game, having to give it its full attention. And uh, tonight it came out. Yeah. yeah. That, I mean, for Suzuki to come back, put four on the board quickly, and then now it comes down to pitching and a little bit of offense, too, that they're adding on Nico Horner. He's up against Hunter Green, who got the start for the Reds. That's going to score Morrell. So the Cubs, they go up five to four. We're going to the fourth. There was some scoring early, and then we have that scoring late. Here, the Reds, they're going to make it 5-5. Five, five. This is an interesting play because a run's going to score. But at third, Ellie De La Cruz actually his speed kind of overdoes it there at third with the slide. Challenge would overturn this call. Right. Uh, so, so the foot comes off, the hand comes off, and give Morrell an awful lot of credit for staying with the tag for the Cubs bench to be able to call that play. You know, the, the replay people, council calls it, and it's a huge out. Yes, and this was as well for the Reds as Christopher Morrell, Fernando Cruz gets him looking. So we are jumping to the eighth. Dansby Swanson. We're tied 5-5. We got one out runner on. Bye-bye. Thank you. That'll do. So that is exactly what this team needed. You can see the reaction from Swanson that makes it 7-5. Take another look. It's so sweet, Bruce. Elise, uh, we've been talking, you know, for a couple weeks now with Swanson about what he's doing to try to get better, okay? Uh, they talk about hit, trying to hit the ball up the middle, drive it to right field. And Dansby Swanson is a pull hitter, okay? That was his sweet spot and, right And there. he's a home run hitter when he gets his pitches, when he's relaxed, and uh, that was as, as good as it gets. And, you know, you, you worry about that he takes too much on his shoulders all the time because of the fact he's got the big contract, He's a shortstop of the team, you know, and again, the struggling here, here you get the save by Neris. A great job by him redeeming himself for the game yesterday, of course, where he gave up the tie. This team has been looking for something late. Yes, they have shown fight, but they have not been able to come through a lot with runners in scoring position, just coming up with those situational hits. They did so a couple of times tonight. So Suzuki with the big grand slam earlier in the day, kind of making up for that botch play and right. And then Dansby, the leader, the guy, coming through with the runs that counted the most. So as we go